Hey Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here with me for your weekly tarot reading. We are going to be looking at the upcoming messages for you. Um, and it can be to the cross watchers who are connected to a Scorpio as well. So before I begin, I just wanted to say thank you for being here. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, if you'd like to become a channel member, you will get access to member-only content and extended readings. Um, all you have to do is click on the join button on the homepage of my channel. Um, and you can sign up for that membership. Otherwise, let's have a look and see, Scorpio, what's coming up for you, Scorpio. Let's have a look. Okay, so far you've got transformation. So this is huge, massive transformation happening. I feel like you're finding your way through a situation here, uh, and I feel like it's You've been going through this transformation for quite some time, Scorpio, so I feel like it's been a long time coming. Um, okay, but there's big change that's coming your way. A lot of things around you are changing, not only in love, but living situations, long-term plans, things around the family as well. Okay, five of crystals. So this is the five of pentacles here. Some of you are dealing with an earth sign. This person is coming through. Um... Okay, I feel like this is telling me some sort of gateway. Okay, but it hasn't been easy to get through this gateway. It's been a bit of a struggle. Okay, out of adversity or out of a major struggle, you're finding the light, Scorpio. One more card for now. And it is the High Priestess. Uh, super intuitive energy around you. Listen to your intuition. It's guiding you at this current stage. Um, but I feel like the High Priestess still has something to teach you. So something isn't completely over. What I'm getting from this, Scorpio, is that there is there's an area where you haven't been doing too well. Um, could be like a relationship or like something that you have going on with yourself. It's like this inner dialogue. It's something that's been going on with you. And I feel like... The cards are telling me that's coming to a that's coming to a, a, a climax of some kind. Let's pull out. It's really hard to see what this reading is about. Okay, four of swords could be connecting uh, with an air sign. Four of swords, a temporary breakup or a separation. Okay, but four of swords is a period of things being really quiet, and she's looking over to the five of crystals. Okay. Mm. Scorpio, some of you, I feel like things have to get worse before they get better. I know, I know. Don't shoot the messenger. Last card, you have the universe. This is powerful. Universal forces are at play. This is a strong... You're on a karmic journey, okay? That would explain a lot of what you're going through. And that would explain, like, there's something to come from this. Okay, so Four of Swords. I feel like... Things have been quiet. I don't know. Things have been quiet or unresolved. Uh, and I feel like for a long time you felt stuck in a situation. And a lot of you have gotten very comfortable because you don't know any other way, right? You've gotten comfortable in a relationship, in a work setting. Um, you've gotten comfortable in your own ways. But it's come to a point where you're not, you're not really... You're not really proud of it or you want more to change. You know, you're like you're waiting for something here. Um, I don't know if some of you are expecting someone to do the changing for you, but I feel like it's within you, to be honest. So that's what that Four of Swords could be. could be like being in no contact with someone as well. Um, I get for a lot of you that are in no contact with us uh, from a specific person, you know, you're, you're not coping too well without not hearing from them, with an, you know, without hearing from them. So, you know, I'm getting it's a bit, bit of a struggle here. I do. And I feel like she's looking over to the five and the five follows the four. Um, and the five is really that. I feel like you're being cornered in a way and you're feeling desperate out of a situation. But I feel like your higher self is telling you it's desperate for change. And I feel like this is all a part of this massive transformation that you have to go on. So you have to feel the way you need you feel now because it's going to push you, Scorpio. It's going to push you out of your comfort zone. You're going to go from the four to the five to the transformation. 
um, to the high priestess here as well. So I feel like you're being pointed in a direction and I wouldn't be surprised to hear if a lot of you, you're probably getting signs around you, Scorpio. When you wake up in the morning, that song that keeps replaying or those numbers that you see, you know, when you're driving behind someone's car and you see those angel numbers or, you know, you've got a new order form at work and you see those numbers pop up or someone's calling you and those same numbers pop up in that mobile number, like, you have these signs from the universe. Don't ignore them, Scorpio. I really do feel like a lot of you are in a rut and you're settling for less than you deserve or you're settling because, you know, you just, you're getting complacent. And that's, that's dangerous territory. When we get complacent, we get content and we think, oh, it'll do. It's going to be good enough. <clears throat> no, you can't be like that. Not right now. I really feel like you can't be complacent because Trent, that's you're not going to change and transform. And I feel like this is huge. I do feel like you're on the brink of entering a new chapter in your life. Um, and I feel like it's one where a lot of things are changing, like the people that you're dating, the kind of relationships you're having. It's like it's a foreign territory. Some of you are even like traveling or venturing out much further physically or like mentally. Like there is just massive expansion in the cards here for you. But a lot of you are putting off you're like stagnating in this transformation you're not letting it happen because you're stuck in this rut come on scorpio we have to get out of this whatever this is i don't want to see you four of swords and five of crystals some of you are depending too much on this other person you're giving them too much power over you and a lot of you are down and out you know you're you're heartbroken or you're upset you've got your own stuff going on and you're you're putting that happiness in someone else's hands um First of all, I want to say the High Priestess is telling me something's not over yet. So for a lot of you, I wouldn't be surprised if this is regarding like an ex or someone you want uh, to come back into the picture, to come back in your life. The High Priestess tells me there's something that isn't completed between you and this person. I also feel like there's stuff, there's more information that's coming to you and it's going to come through dreams and visions or encounters that you have with people. They might say something to you and it's going to be like that light bulb moment here for you. So I want you to pay attention because the universe is very present. The vibration you're in, you're you're needing to accept these messages, but a lot of you are letting it go right over your head. So I'm not telling you off. I just want you to pay attention to what's around you, Scorpio, because I know what it's like to be in that position. And I know you're more than capable of getting yourself out and entering this beautiful transformation stage that you have coming up. So I'm going to leave it there. So I hope that's enough of motivation for you from me. I hope that's a bit of a pep talk here. Um, but thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And also, if you wanted to become a channel member, you can do so joining the channel by joining the channel via the join button on my homepage. Otherwise, have a wonderful week, Scorpio. And until next time, bye for now.